can't I believe? Why can't I believe whatever I want to believe, even if it's not true? One guy even told me that he has a right to be wrong. And I said, you're right, you do, but you're in an argument with me, and I have a right to be right. I thought the title of this uh, video, Insincere Atheists. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? I tell you all this just to, so that you'll understand why. If, if you ask me why I believe something, I will give you the reason. Because this fact indicates this conclusion as being the most probably correct. It doesn't have to be absolute. Most things aren't. And um, now if it turns out that my, my cited fact wasn't a fact at all, but an erroneous report, maybe something I saw on Onion News, uh, then you don't have to disprove my belief. Once I know that it was there wasn't good enough reason to believe it in the first place, I already don't believe it anymore. You hypocrite. You flaming hypocrite. You talking jackass. Your paradigm is your your sense of reality. Your reality for you is that, that there is no God. So, any evidence you get that hints that, 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 that there might be a God, you're going to dismiss it. Subconscious, you, you, you know, you're not, your subconscious is not going to let you believe it. You even said in a, another video that the universe might have consciousness. So you're getting mighty close to admitting there, that there might be a God, even if it is pantheism. But you, but your paradigm of life, your philosophy of life, your reality that there is no God won't need, let you believe anything that Hence that there might be a God. And that is why you will not listen to my, or debunk my evidence from uh, uh, the late Southern Baptist mega evangelist, J. Harold Smith. So there's no God. Well, how do you explain his stories where he tried to get people to convert to Christianity, to get saved, after he told them the gospel? Presented the pure, unvarnished gospel to them, and they rejected it. And guess what? All of them died. Coincidence? Why is it this has only happened in Christianity? Why has it? And but it's like that, like the old pastor said, I've had lots of answered prayers. When I pray, coincidences happen. When I don't pray, coincidences don't happen. Something to think about, you jackass. But no, your paradigm will not let you believe anything that... You don't want to believe in the Christian God. As you hate the concept of the Christian God. You will not... If you, if you, if you know there is no God, why do you debunk J. Harold Smith's stories and the late evangelists Freddie Gage. Here's one story. There's this person. Freddie Gage was trying to get to become a Christian. They kept refusing. Finally, they blew Christ off for the last time. And he had an accident. Was in a. He was smoking a cigarette while pouring some gas. And somehow the cigarette fell from his hands, and exploded. Well, while he was dying, he was screaming, Don't let me die. Don't let me die. I'm on fire. Somebody please kill me. Somebody please kill me. Put out this fire. Somebody please kill me. That's never happened in Hinduism. That's never happened in Islam or Mormonism. Only in Christianity. Christianity has a power that no other religion does. What is this power? Scientifically, what is happening? When people have... I have a blasphemy challenge for you, Aaron Ra. And if you pass this challenge, I will deny Christianity live on your stream. You let me present the full gospel to you. 
the full gospel how to get saved so that you uh, so, so that you it causes you to feel something you know you, uh, and uh, and if you can say this is something I feel it's not a God and you can curse the Holy Ghost on your live on my, on my live stream and you not die within three days I deny Christianity live stream that's my challenge to you bitch are you mad enough to man up and take this challenge all the people in J. Harold Smith's video cursed the Holy Ghost or made fun of Christianity when he was presented the full gospel to them and he told one of them he said God told him to tell one of the three of them all three of you have signed uh, God has signed your death warrant and all three of you are gonna die and all three of them die, die the next day this has never happened in Hinduism so what's happening scientifically I don't like the thought of people burning in hell forever and ever but hey with this evidence I cannot deconvert from, from Christianity that's my paradigm. No? Yeah, paradigm. I, I just can't. Not with this evidence. Not until you debunk this evidence, if you can.